all hands on deck because we're going fishing. That's right, we've reeled in some of the largest whoppers of all time. And these gigantic sea creatures are gonna have you reaching for your life jackets. Who said fishing is boring anyway? From the largest catfish of all time to fish so big they couldn't even fit in the boat. These are the 20 biggest catches of all time. Monster Catfish This giant catfish found itself in a battle to the death when it was caught by relentless fisherman Dino Ferrari from Italy. The unfortunate fish weighed in at a whopping 280 pounds and was reeled in during a brother bonding fishing trip on the Po River. Ferrari, whose profession is a bus mechanic, came across this fantastic beast while fishing with a humble rod, and then spent a nail-biting 40 minutes wrestling with the fish as he fought to reel it in. After the epic tussle, he eventually defeated this colossal catfish and posed for photos with his winning catch, before throwing it back into the river. We guess he doesn't like the taste of catfish. Blech. One more likely, there would have just been no room in the car to transport it home. Look at the size of it! The photos of Dino, Dino's supersized catch made the rounds on the internet, where many skeptics doubted the authenticity of the phenomenal fish. What do you think? Is this catch too good to be true? We've watched the footage and we have to say, we believe Dino Ferrari. In Europe, it's thought that the average size of the species is about 3.9 to 5.2 feet and fish more than 6.6 .6 feet are actually rare. However, there are sightings of catfish longer than 8.2 feet in length and 220 pounds in weight. And it looks like this Italian fisherman caught one of these rare creatures. And now it's time for our open discussion. And this giant catch hasn't just been making waves in local ponds, it's making waves online too. This is one vicious viral fish. Some anglers are even saying that this might be one of the biggest freshwater fish ever caught. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Hey you, feeling lucky? Want a shout out in tomorrow's video? All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and comment down below your fave moment from today's juicy topics. Tomorrow, you just might be the talk of the town. Alright, enough chit chat, back to the show. 757 pound swordfish. In Key West, Florida, a bunch of daring anglers led by Captain Nick Stanchik went on an epic fishing trip that would go down in the records of legendary catches. Yup, a monstrous swordfish tipping the scales at a jaw-dropping 757 pounds became the star of their deep sea showdown. Ed and Chris, the dynamic duo and Captain Nick's crew fought an intense eight-hour battle with this fishy giant, proving that fishing isn't for the faint-hearted. And it wasn't just any ordinary fishing feat, this swordfish was a bona fide heavyweight champion. In fact, a crane had to step in to lift the colossal fish onto the dock. At a whopping 14 feet long, the sea monster was a certified record breaker. In fact, swordfish are known for their speed and agility, making them the holy grail for anglers. This crew reeled in more than just a fish, they snagged a piece of deep sea history. Monster Lobster Guess what the deep sea experts at Sanctuary Marine Bermuda stumbled upon during a routine fishing quest. A colossal 14 pound lobster, the Godzilla of the ocean floor. And this monster lobster wasn't even the intended catch of the day. These fishermen were out on a quest for a red snapper, but mother nature had other plans as she usually does. Enter Hurricane Nicole, who blew in some serious sea monsters that even the seasoned anglers didn't see coming. In a Facebook post that went viral, Sanctuary Marine Bermuda uploaded a picture of the giant sea creature. Now, this giant spiny lobster wasn't meant for a seafood feast, and they actually chose to release the mammoth lobster back into the sea, safe and sound. The waters off Bermuda just got a little more legendary, thanks to this unintentional underwater encounter. Check out the viral video on Facebook and you'll be on the edge of your seat as the GoPro captures the epic catch and release of the giant lobster that stole the show. Anybody got any butter? Shout out to our viewer friend Alirahimi7566. Thanks for commenting and we're so glad you love our videos. Wells Catfish Hold on to your fishing rods because Jeremy Wade is on a wild adventure to Spain's river Ebro where the legendary Wells catfish lurks beneath the surface. 
Forget everything you thought you knew about catfish. Wade inches closer to the shore, only to discover that these colossal creatures have zero fear of humans. Uh-oh. It's face-off human versus catfish. Not one, not two, but three enormous wells engage in an underwater tango with Wade. At this point, we're not sure if this is a fishing expedition or an action movie. Now, the Wells Catfish, a heavyweight in the catfish world, makes even the average-sized catfish look tiny, coming in at 4 to 5 feet long and tipping the scales at a whopping 40 to 50 pounds on average. These river titans give other catfish a run for their money. Jeremy Wade is one brave fisherman. Giant Whiptail Stingray Scientists in Thailand just reeled in the catch of a lifetime in the Mae Klong River. This isn't your average fish, we're talking about a colossal stingray. The scientific dream team, armed with measuring tapes and determination, made this epic discovery about an hour outside Bangkok in the Amphawa district. The veterinarian and professor extraordinaire from the university in Bangkok dubbed it the big one, and big doesn't even begin to cover it. This majestic stingray spread out an impressive 7.9 feet across and measured a jaw-dropping 14 feet from head to tail. 14 feet, making it a serious heavyweight contender in the underwater world. Estimated to tip the scales between 700 to 800 pounds, this ray is basically the Arnold Schwarzenegger of the river. Not only that, but weighing this aquatic titan is no easy feat. Zeb Hogan, the National Geographic Fellow and Biology Professor at the University of Nevada said, It's really hard to weigh these things without hurting them because they are such big, awkward animals. Yep, this unbelievable discovery is making waves in the scientific community, proving that even in the murky depths of the Mae Klong River, there are treasures waiting to be unveiled. World Record Pike Pitar Filipov, the angling sensation from Bulgaria, just reeled in the stuff of fishing legend. Probably the biggest documented pike to date. This isn't your run-of-the-mill fish, oh no, we're talking about a whopper weighing in at a jaw-dropping 25.3 kilograms and measuring a whopping 140 centimeters. If there's a pike hall of fame, this cat should be secured in its top spot. In Pitar's own words, I'm a lure fisherman and only go spinning for pike these days, often using homemade lures. This angler extraordinaire has been casting lines since the tender age of four, but this is definitely his biggest catch yet. And believe it or not, he found the fish in an old small reservoir. Pitar, armed with his homeland lures, embarked on a mission to uncover the secret lurking beneath the water's surface. Pitar isn't your average angler. Sure, he's caught his fair share of pike, but this catch? It's the fishy equivalent of hitting the jackpot. Good job, Pitar. Massive Bull Shark YouTube channel Big John Shark Fishing captured the moment that a giant bull shark was caught on Pensacola Beach in Florida. Bull sharks are actually considered to be the most dangerous sharks in the world because of their love for shallow waters near heavily populated coastlines. Yep, they just can't get enough of this. The bull shark is well known for its incredibly aggressive and unpredictable behavior, and its signature move is to headbutt their prey. And that's not the only similarity they share with their bull buddies on land. Just like their namesake, they are thought to despise bright colors and have even launched at colorful fishing nights, seeing them as a threat. These underwater nightmares usually measure in at around 7 feet and have an average weight of 500 pounds with the strongest bite force of any shark at 1,300 pounds. While they usually feed on dolphins, smaller sharks, and land mammals like sloths, they have been known to hunt us. On Recife Beach in Brazil, they were a shocking 47 shark attacks resulting in 17 deaths. Yikes. All taking place between June 1992 and September 2006. Yep, bull sharks are a real threat and not to be underestimated. King Salmon Fish Check out this jaw-dropping fishing feat from YouTuber Dano D. He reeled in a colossal king salmon that measured a whopping 48 inches. And where did this epic battle of man versus fish unfold? None other than the wild waters of Alaska. Dano D, the salmon slayer, managed to snag this trophy fish, also known as the Chinook Salmon, Blackmouth or Taiyi. 
Now, let's dive into the world of King Salmon. These bad boys hatch in fresh water, take a detour to salt water, and then pull a U-turn back to fresh water to spawn. Anglers are all over King Salmon like bears on honey, and for good reason. Not only do they boast a taste that's the stuff of seafood dreams, but they're also notorious for being a real challenge to catch. From the chilly waters of California to the icy expanses of Alaska, and even crossing the Bering Strait to Russia and Japan, these regal salmon rule the northern Pacific Ocean. 700 pound tuna. Hold on to your fishing rods. Wyatt Morse, a 17 year old fisherman from Auburn, just pulled off a maritime marvel with his boat, the creatively named Fat 2NA. Huh? This teen prodigy, along with his friends Martin Scanlon and Griffin Buckwater, embarked on a tuna odyssey off the coast of Maine. Oh wait, I get it, fat tuna, okay. And they came across this real giant. Their catch was a monstrous bluefin tuna, measuring a whopping 109 inches from nose to tail fork. But a mind-boggling seven hours later, they were dragging more than 10 miles in their modest 24-foot lobster boat. Now that's a fishy joyride. It was the most hectic and crazy fish they've ever caught, he said. As they finally reeled in their giant tune, reality hit. The tuna was a whopping nine feet long, and it wouldn't even fit on their vessel. In a plot twist worthy of Jaws, they had to summon Scanlan's dad and his larger-than-life boat, Whiskey Business. Good name, right? With the bigger boat in action, they successfully hauled the behemoth bluefin aboard, and just like that, they were on their way to Portland, turning their deep-sea conquest into a sail worth a local fish dealer. What would you name your boat if you had one? I think I'd name mine the Keanu Reefs. Number 11. Humboldt Squid Get ready to dive into the deep with the Humboldt Squid, aka the Jumbo Squid, a true titan of the ocean. Named after the Humboldt Current along the South American coast, these squids don't mess around. They dwell in the abysmal depths, going beyond 2,000 feet, and make a daily commute from deep to shallow waters for a snack. Now, let's talk about their superhero move. They can fly. These incredible creatures can launch themselves out of the water to escape the clutches of predators. It's like they've got their own aquatic jetpacks, propelling themselves in the opposite direction with lightning speed and size. Oh, they've got that too. The Humboldt squid takes the crown among a mastrophid squids, with some individuals reaching a whopping 4 feet 11 inches in mantle length and tipping the scales at a hefty 110 pounds. That's one colossal calamari. So the next time you're near the Eastern Pacific, keep an eye out for these high-flying, color-changing, and devilishly impressive sea giants. Giant Trevally We're diving into the thrilling world of the Giant Trevally, the ultimate of the Indo-Pacific waters. This fish is a muscle-bound, aggressive predator that's the stuff of anglers' dreams. Known scientifically as Carnax Ingo Billets, this sea beast has a reputation for being a real tough guy. Anglers love the challenge it presents, as reeling in one of these bad boys is like a tug of war with Poseidon himself. Apex predators of the deep, they're not picky eaters. If they can catch it, they'll eat it. And they're not just relying on their speed and size, they're cunning hunters. They ambush their prey and even use sharks as backup to intimidate smaller fish. And if that wasn't enough, these fish are show-offs too. Despite their hefty size, they're acrobats of the sea, leaping out of the water like ninjas. Some even use this impressive skill to snatch birds near the surface. It's a bird? It's a fish? No, it's the giant Trevally. So, the next time you cast your line in the Indo-Pacific, beware of the sea's ultimate predator, the giant Trevally. It's a true force to be reckoned with, even though the name sounds a bit silly. Beluga Sturgeon Get ready to meet a true giant of the underwater world, the beluga sturgeon, a true legend among bony fish. This aquatic colossus is not just big, it's one of the largest bony fish globally, and get this. It's so colossal that it doesn't have a single natural predator in its native habitat. Despite its intimidating size, the beluga sturgeon is a bit of a recluse. It's a shy giant that prefers to steer clear of human contact. And this fish isn't just famous for its size. It's been a culinary sensation since 1100 BC. People have been hunting it for the quality of its eggs and making caviar out of its delicious roe. Now, let's talk stats. The adult beluga sturgeon is a stunning mix of white, blue, and gray. 
And when we say it's hefty, we mean it, averaging a mind-boggling 500 to 2,000 pounds. Some sturgeons even tip the scales at a staggering 4,000 pounds and stretch almost 20 feet. Females in particular are ginormous, about 20% bigger than their male counterparts. In fact, they can reach the size of a pickup truck. Good luck reeling this beast in. Massive 649 kilogram marlin. Now, here's an epic tale from the seas off Queensland. A group of anglers led by Rob Crane landed a colossal black marlin, weighing in at a whopping 649.87 kilograms. It's not every day you come face to face with a sea monster of this magnitude. The battle with this behemoth was no small feat, taking two hours to bring on board. Two hours. However, after realizing the marlin had met its watery end and died during their battle, the crew faced a dilemma. Would they let it slip back into the depths or bring it home for the record books? Well, they decided to bring the marlin back to shore. I set on potentially smashing the world record of 707 kilograms. But as with any great catch, controversy followed. The images of Mr. Crane and his crew with the colossal marlin went viral, causing a social media storm over the ethics of targeting and bringing such a magnificent creature back to shore and killing it in the process. But fear not, ocean lovers, because Mr. Crane wanted to do the right thing. In the spirit of scientific curiosity, he told the press he wanted to donate the marlin to research groups unraveling the mysteries of the black marlin life. Biggest Striped Bass Dive into the East Coast waters and you might just encounter the rock star of predatory fish, Monroe saxatilis, better known as the striped bass. Now, these bass are the absolute giants of the coast. In fact, some striped bass stretch out to a whopping 5 to 6 feet and tip the scales at a jaw-dropping 77 to 125 pounds. It's like having a fish as hefty as an adult human. Their hangout spots are as varied as their diet, from the chill waters of Canada all the way down to the sunny shores of Florida. And thanks to a little help from their human friends, these bass have become globetrotters, making their way into lakes and rivers far too. And for the record books, North Carolina takes the crown for the heaviest striped bass on record, weighing in at a whopping 125 pounds of pure aquatic muscle. Now that's a fish tale worth telling around the campfire. 13-foot hammerhead shark. The beaches of Florida witnessed a jaw-dropping spectacle. A local fisherman, Ryan Bolash, and his buddies reeling in a colossal 13-foot hammerhead shark near Lauderdale by the sea. You know it's not your typical beach day when you see a fisherman engaging in a high-stakes wrestling match with a thrashing sea giant. With the whole drama unfolding near the pier, onlookers were treated to a show as Bolash and his friends dragged the beast onto the shore. But it wasn't about glory or boasting rights. Bolash had a mission, and it was all about the well-being of the oceanic titan. Yep, he just wanted to cut the fishing line. In a display of respect for the creature, they wanted to ensure the line was severed as close to the shark's mouth as possible. After all, no one wants a fishing line mishap to turn into a fishy injury for the shark. Once the line was snipped, the fisherman hauled the hammerhead back into the sea, watching as it swam away. Bolash summed it up perfectly in his words. It's an achievement. It's cool to catch something that big and have a picture and show everyone and be like, look what I caught. It's the ultimate catch. And if you thought that was just another day on the beach in Florida, think again. According to a local pier worker, the last time a 13-foot hammerhead was caught in the area was all the way back in the 1960s. Pretty impressive, right? 500-pound grouper. This guy is redefining the meaning of big catch. Jonathan Black, the fearless owner of Crazy Lure Bait and Tackle Shop in Cape Coral, Florida, embarked on an epic kayak adventure that would put even seasoned anglers to shame. In a kayak, Blatt set his sights on a colossal grouper weighing over 500 pounds. The whole heart-pounding saga was captured on video by Captain Ben Chansey from Chew on This Charters and Goliath Grouper Fishing Trips. Interesting name. It's a cinematic showdown as Black grapples with the monstrous grouper and, spoiler alert, the rod breaks in the heat of battle. Against all odds, he manages to guide the giant grouper to the shore. The measurements are nothing short of legendary, 83 inches long with a whopping 73-inch girth, tipping the scales at an astonishing 552 pounds. 
It's like wrestling with a marine giant. According to Black's Facebook page, this isn't just any catch, it's a record breaker. Fishing for a Goliath grouper from a kayak is no small feat. And according to reports, it's the largest bottom fish ever caught from a kayak. We are officially impressed. Alligator Gar In the waters of Sam Rayburn Reservoir in southeast Texas, angler Art Weston reeled in a colossal 283-pound alligator gar, making a splash in the record books. The Sam Rayburn Reservoir, a hotspot for massive alligator gars, lived up to its reputation when Weston, a 52-year-old angler from Kentucky, hooked into this aquatic giant. Guided by local boat captain Kirk Kirkland on the legendary Garship Enterprise, Weston faced a battle of epic proportions. The Gar put up a fierce fight for 2 hours and 45 minutes, and Kirkland even endured severe rope burn ouch, while wrangling the giant fish. Weighing in at a staggering 283 pounds and measuring 8 feet 4 inches long, this gargantuan gar nearly tipped the scales itself. What's even more incredible is that they released the creature back into the reservoir. The colossal catch is likely a female, as female alligator gars tend to outgrow their male counterparts. When the current record holder tips the scales at 327 pounds, Weston's achievement has made a big splash in the world of record-breaking catches. Giant Yellowfin Tuna It's a fisherman's dream. John Petruscu, a 33-year-old electrician from La Mesa, hit the jackpot one morning when he reeled in a colossal yellowfin tuna, weighing a whopping 445 pounds. A 500-pound fish? This was a catch of epic proportions, but there's a twist. Captain Justin Fleck of the Excel had to step in twice to handle the seeker fishing rod that Petrescu was using, which unfortunately means the catch won't be officially recognized by the International Game Fish Association. Wah, wah. However, this doesn't diminish the achievement, it's still the biggest yellowfin tuna ever landed by a rod and reel angler on a sport boat. Oof. 445 pounds of tuna were exhausted just thinking about it. And actually craving a bit of sushi. Largest Great White Shark Meet the oceanic legend, Mary Lee, arguably the most famous shark of all time. This mature female apex predator entered the limelight when she was tagged by the shark aficionados of Osearch off the Cape Cod coast in September 2012. Weighing in at a formidable 3,400 pounds-ish, Mary Lee quickly became a sensation as her tackler's radio ping revealed her navigating the waters off Jones Beach in New York. Over the next five years, O-Search recorded Mary Lee's oceanic adventures, covering a staggering 40,000 miles. This oceanic wanderer explored as far north as Albemarle Sound in North Carolina and left behind a digital trail of pings tracked by recorded GPS. But Mary Lee wasn't just a sensation in the sea, she also conquered the internet too. With a whopping 129,000 followers on Twitter, she became a social media sensation, making waves both on and offline. This is one modern great white shark, Big Tarpon. Tarpon are the giants of the sea, capable of growing up to 8 feet long and weighing nearly 300 pounds. But what's truly astonishing is their potential lifespan around 150 years, making them the real OGs of the ocean. There's even a record of a 64-year-old tarpon that lived in the Shedd Aquarium in Chicago during the 1990s. Now, here's another fun fact for you. Tarpon are versatile swimmers. They can thrive in both saltwater and freshwater, with habitats ranging from the salty depths of the ocean to freshwater lakes like Nicaragua. These impressive creatures are even known to shed up to a staggering 12 million eggs. That's a whole lot of kids. The eggs hatch at sea and the larvae undergo a magical metamorphosis near the shore, transforming into the recognizable tarpon we know as they grow. But the tarpon story doesn't start today. It dates back 125 million years. That's right, these fighters have been navigating the water since the time of the dinosaurs, making them older than a T-Rex. Their scales have been repurposed as nail files, used for wall art and even pulverized for medicinal purposes. Yep, the giant tarpons are true legends.